Yes. Hello, 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 goddesses. You're on with Aviola, and it is day two of my fourth annual 12 Days of Blissness. Today, my loves, we are talking about what your big, scary goals are. Actually, just let's, let's do two. Two big, scary goals for 2019. Yesterday, for day one, we did a celebration of everything that is working for you. <laughs> and today, in my pajamas, hey, Goddess Nikki! Today, in my pajamas, we're going to be talking about what your big, what's a big, scary, terrifying goal that you can name for 2019. Big, scary, terrifying. Hello, goddess Laura. Hello, the wellness guru. Wait, give me a sec. Let me just make sure. All right, so wherever you're watching this, whether it is Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, this is where we are going to be doing our daily 12 days of blissness. Hey, goddess Aurora, so see the Christmas tree worked out. <laughs> Everybody who was on yesterday's day one of the 12 days of blissness, I was trying to put up the Christmas tree and it was honestly a hot mess. It did not work out. <laughs> I had to call in the recruits, but as we see the tree worked out, it is plug and play. I got it from Wayfair. That is not a, an endorsement. If it is, Wayfair, send me my money, run me my coins. <laughs> I plugged it in. It's white. It's pretty. The lights were already in it. Put it together. Put it up. Boom. There we go. It has no star at the top. So I'm going to have to get a star because I know when my four-year-old niece comes over because we decorated my parents' tree um, a week ago at the, um, we had a Christmas tree trimming at their house and she was very obsessed with the star. So I'm probably gonna have to get a star um, before they all come over for Christmas. Goddess Aurora says, loving the tree. Thank you, Goddess, plug and play. Hello, Goddess Rosie. So yesterday, Goddess Rosie Reed, I love that name, don't you? Goddess Rosie Reed won, and hopefully she doesn't mind me saying her whole government name. My bad, Goddess Rosie. <laughs> Goddess R Squared was the winner of yesterday's giveaway, which was the Coaching Business in a Box Kit. You can get yours at coachingbusinessinaboxkit.com, but she won a free one yesterday because she just launched her new business and she is rocking it. So I am picking people at random. Um, and today, I think that the prize is the author in a box kit. And we'll have two winners. One winner is somebody who already commented in the free Facebook group, which you should join at imanifestmagic.com. And she was asking, like a few other folks were asking, where's the vision board challenge? Last year, 12 Days of Blissness was a vision board challenge. And people are wanting to do a vision board again. So let me know if you are wanting to make your vision board with me before the new year or maybe in the new year. Maybe we'll do it at the beginning of January. I have another challenge coming up that is really really powerful it's gonna blow everything away it is a mindset it's not a challenge really it's a mindset reset called I am unfuckwithable we're kicking off January like that yes <laughs> so maybe we will make our vision board challenge a part of that but let me know if that is something that is valuable to you um, and the goddesses have already let me know in the group that that's what they're wanting to do. Thank you for the hearts, Instagram. Yeah, we'll, let, me, let me figure out wh when is the best time for us to make that happen. And let's make our vision board challenge pop. Today, we're talking about your big, scary, scared to say it. Um, as my client, Goddess Gail says, blow your own damn mind goals. All right. So I need you to set two, two big goals. For 2019 or objectives or whatever language you choose one of them is something that's maybe more easily achievable right because you want to be gentle to yourself and you want to do things where you can have wins and that inspires success and makes us feel like okay I can keep on doing this you don't want all of your goals to be you know terrifyingly feeling like they're unattainable and the other goal is gonna be a big 
scary, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm saying this, scared to admit it, terrified to put it out there, goal. And I know some of the things that you guys have been talking about um, recently about making your goals. So some people have been saying that they want to hit six figures. Some people have been saying they want to hit seven figures. Um, in 2019, some people have been saying that they want to get into a relationship. Um, some people have been saying, what other goals did I see? They want to get out of a relationship. <laughs> um, some people are wanting to write books. I've seen a lot of people wanting to write books. That's why I made today's giveaway the author in a spiritpreneur, author in a box kit. Um, a lot of people are saying they want to write books. Uh, what other goals have I seen? People who are wanting to lose weight, get in shape, all of those kinds of goals. Um, somebody was saying that they wanted to move. So whatever your big, scary, oh my God, I'm scared to put this out there, feels unattainable goal is, make sure that you balance it with something that feels like more easily doable. So for example, a big, scary, oh my goodness, scared to admit it goal would be, all right, I'm gonna write a book in 2019, or if you've already written one, you wanna get it out there and have it be an Amazon bestseller, for example, right? And you could support that by having an easily attainable goal like okay i want to get outside and walk for 15 minutes a day or 20 minutes a day or something like that you see what i mean so you're balancing it rather than terrifying yourself completely you want to allow yourself because greatness is a muscle and look at you you have everything that it takes for you to feel like you are living your greatness on a daily basis and that doesn't mean that you're not going to have ups and downs it doesn't mean that you're not going to have days where you're like oh my goodness i am over this whatever it is that you're doing but you want to be able to set yourself up to win you want to be able to set yourself up for success and so that's why yesterday we started with okay what wins can we celebrate what wins can we celebrate where can we say yes youtube youtube coming through with the big goals what can we celebrate where we feel like okay i have done this i am doing this so goddess nikki on youtube she says that her big scary goal for 2019 is to hit six figures in her business now goddess nikki i'm not gonna say your whole government name like i did to goddess rosie <laughs> But Goddess Nikki, that is easily attainable for you. I know her business inside and out because she's a member of the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy. But Goddess Nikki, what you could set as your easily attainable goal is that she still has not joined the VIP Facebook group. And so many people purchase the course and join the course and that's nice, but that's just step one. Come into the group where I could be able to work with you one-on-one -on -one in the group where you could be able to have sisterhood and people who are rooting for you, rooting for your goals and may have some other feedback about your business. Okay, so I see you have a different easy goal there. I'm going to add your easy goal and make it just come into the group. And I know a lot of people say to me, yeah, but I'm not a group person or, you know, that kind of thing. I totally get it. I totally understand it. But I am a big fan of group masterminding because there is something different that happens when you get together. This is in the book Think and Grow Rich, which was written over 100 years ago. I am a member of masterminds. I find it to be a way to accelerate your growth because, you know, you can go as far as you can go with your brain and then with you and your coach, you can go as far as you can go. But being able to have, you know, be in the company of other people with similar goals where I'm solving their issues or their challenges that you might not have thought of, it's going to accelerate your, your growth. Okay. It's like the reason why the second kid and the third kid grow faster than the first kid like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Goddess Aurora says her big goal for 2019 is to take her workshops on the road internationally. I love that. I love, love, love that, Goddess Aurora. Okay, so what's her name? Let's put a name out there if you haven't already yet, and don't schedule for June, because in June, you will be in the south of France at the next Goddess Retreat with me. But the rest of the year, <laughs> you can be on the road. So what's the name? If you haven't already given it, given the workshops a name, 
Let's give them a name. Goddess Aurora's workshops. Let's speak it. Let's speak it into being. Speak life into your life. Speak with the power of the voice. What's the name? And there's a reason why in every spiritual tradition, right? As soon as something is created by the creator, what happens? It is named. So let's name it. Let's name it. Because we want to know. If we're going to be coming to your workshops, we got to know where we're coming. The Goddess Aurora workshops, yes. And I can absolutely see it. I can absolutely see people coming internationally for your workshops. Okay, so she says, Yes, I love it. The Secured Entrepreneur Movement, coming soon to a country near you. Yes, she says, yes, I will be in the south of France with you. Awesome. Yes, the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Okay, good. So what are five places, Goddess Aurora, that you can take this workshop in 2019? Maybe make two easy locations, like if you have a sister or a family member in another state or another place where that's an easy place for you to go and launch from. Of course, start off with where you are, then the easy location, and then three other challenging locations. And one of the things that you can do also, Goddess Aurora, is, um, and I did this with one of my book launches, partner with other people maybe locally who are doing something similar. So being that you have the secured entrepreneur movement, maybe there's someone in another state like, uh, I don't know, Texas, right? Someone who's in Houston, Texas, say you wanna go to Houston, Texas, who is doing something similar and they have your audience, right? And you can bring to them and they can bring to you. And each of these people can kind of host you and be your partner in each location. All right, and then you wanna stack it on by doing local media with each location that you go to. So now you're creating hype, you're creating momentum, people are getting excited, and then people are contacting you and saying, hey, I want the Secured Entrepreneur Movement to come to my state, right? And so then you're building it, you're building it, you're building it. So start to think, so five places, five places where we can see the Secured Entrepreneur Movement happening, yes. Goddess Rosie says, say my name, say my name. Yes. Hello, Goddess Leslie. Hello, Goddess Wellness G. Hello, Goddess Urban Bush Queen. Yes, we are talking about your big, scary goals for 2019, and you're going to partner an easy goal. Like, okay, I just took my butt down the block and walked for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> or 20 minutes or whatever you want to make it. For my LA people, you get the benefit of going hiking or something like that. And the scary goal of, okay, like Goddess Aurora just said, I am going to take it on the road. Or Goddess Nikki just said, okay, I'm going to reach this new height in my business, right? Over on YouTube, Goddess Bailey is saying that she is going to finally put her book out there, that she started writing it two or three years ago, and she has been nervous and scared, but her big scary goal is that she may put it, may finally put it out there in 2019. All right, so first of all, when we're speaking stuff into being, we don't want to say, I might want to kind of, sort of put it out there, maybe. If I got time, nothing's on TV. <laughs> That's not how we want to do it, right? That's not how you want to do it. You want to command with the power of the tongue. You want to say, yes, I will put my book out there in 2019. And you want to punctuate it with the magical statement that I work with goddesses on when we do our in-person. These are my words and I have spoken. Yes, right now we just felt that resonate differently throughout the universe. So yes, so you are going to, you will put your book out there. You will publish your book. You will put your book into the marketplace. You will make it happen. Not that you're gonna, kinda, maybe, wanna, <laughs> but you will, you will, you will. Anybody else who will be putting their book out there in 2019? Goddess Antoinette is in the house, and Goddess Antoinette has all kinds of beautiful, brilliant magic to offer the world. So I know her 2019 will be great. Goddess Antoinette, we're talking about one big, scary, seemingly unattainable goal for 2019, and one that's an easier win. 
So what do you have? Hello, Goddess Wanda. Okay, so Goddess Rosie is declaring, I am, yes, that's how we wanna go, you know, I am, yes. I am returning to the stage as an amazing vocalist by February 1st, 2019. Yes, you better call it Goddess Rosie. She's like, by the date when most people have fallen off of their resolutions already, I will already be on that stage making it happen. That is beautiful. Okay, so Goddess Rosie, what are you singing? Let's put it out there. Let's get specific. What are you singing? Where are you singing it? Where can people come? Where do they, is there a mailing list? People want to know what's going on, right? Let's be very specific. So with your big scary goal and with your, all right, I know I can do this goal, make them very, very specific, quantifiable and measurable, not something general. Oh, I want to make more money. I want to lose more weight. I want to have more love. I want to get along better. Things that are very, very specific. Things that you can speak on and call it into being, okay? Like returning to the stage as an, Amer as an amazing vocalist by February 1st. Yes, like, okay, I will be an Amazon bestseller. Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So give us the name of the book that you will be a bestseller in. Let's declare it very, very specifically. Okay. Yes. I'm loving it. Okay, good. She says that she will be an Amazon bestseller by June 16th. Yes. 2019. Beautiful. Okay. So go in and do the math. Now count backward, okay, so if that's when you wanna be a bestseller by, when does your book need to come out by? When does, if that's when your book, whatever date your book needs to come out by to hit that bestseller list, when do you have to have the book written? Okay, then how, when do you have to get the book to the editor in order to get it published? When do you need to get the book cover done in order to get it published and the cover art, the interior design of the book, right? And then how many pages do you need to write a day to get there? So once you have a very specific quantifiable goal, you can break it down into the sum of its parts. Goddess Antoinette says, my hubby and I are building my website and my community. Yes, website. We anticipate everything done by third quarter or sooner, 2019. Absolutely. I can see you doing that sooner, Goddess Antoinette. And I love that it is something that you are birthing with your hubby. I think that that is going to be amazing. And I think anything that you touch is golden, my love. Goddess Rosie says, I will then be returning. Yes, with the follow-up goals. I will then be returning to the stage at the local. Oh, okay, she, this is where she's going to be. Her goal of by February 1st. I'll be returning to the stage local open mic at the cork restaurant in sherman oaks california anybody else out there in cali can go see goddess rosie at the cork cork restaurant sherman oaks california goddess aurora you're nearby you're a state away <laughs> so maybe you want to go when goddess rosie has this going on and represent for all of us in the audience yes goddess rosie so maybe there's a live stream as well so that we can watch you like this performing. Let us know. Hello, Goddess Michelle. We're about to wrap up. She says, bad connection, but finally got in. Okay, so Goddess Michelle and everybody who's joining us right now, you're gonna set, your homework is two goals that you are gonna set for 2019. One big, scary, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, goal. <laughs> or, oh my goddess, oh my goddess, oh my goddess. Or, oh my universe, oh my universe, oh my universe. <laughs> right? One big, terrifying, oh, I am not telling anybody except y'all <laughs> this goal. All right? And the other one, something that is easily attainable. Yes! Goddess Aurora is representing for the team. She says that she will go. That is beautiful, Goddess Aurora. So Goddess Aurora, I don't know if you're writing a book or not, but you are the winner of today's Author in a Box Kit. 
because we, we do need a book from you, even if you hadn't planned on writing one. And just for you wanting to go and support the next sister in the next state on our behalf, representing all of us. That is beautiful. She's a whole state away. And she says she will go. So Goddess Rosie, we're going to need a specific date when you have one and specific details. Goddess Rora will be there live streaming. Well, if it's allowed, we don't want her thrown out of the place. <laughs> right? Got us Aurora sitting up there with her phone. She's like, Abiola told me, get off me. <laughs> Yes, I love it. Goddess Aurora wins today's author in a box kit. Yay! And Goddess Michelle is going to get in on her goal homework and let us know by tomorrow. Hello, Chris. Hello, Goddess Lori. Hello, Fit Rebel. Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay. We are making it happen. I look forward to seeing what your goals are. And I will let you know tomorrow when we will be doing the vision board. Thank you for requesting it. We will make it happen. 12 days of blissness. I will see you tomorrow, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for day number three. All right? Work on the specificity of your goals and bring it with you. Yes, you're right. Goddess Robin says you need to bring in a numerology expert. Okay, make that happen. Yes, okay, and Goddess Rosie says she's launching her first deck of self-love cards by spring 2019. Beautiful. Be sure to let them know that at your live event, okay? What you're doing then is you're seeding. You're letting your audience know that it's coming. Just like I said, okay, in January, I've got this really, really up, uh, up, um, empowering mindset reset coming, right? So it's something to think about. So make sure when you're on that stage, you let them know Hey, and I'm going to be launching my first deck of self-love cards. Be sure to get on my mailing list so that I can follow up with you and make sure that you are in. All right? Yes, beautiful. Be seen, be heard, be a movement, goddesses. Namaste. Hello, Chef Amira. Welcome back, beautiful. We got big things to do together, my love. Big things are popping. I want to help you do the things that you said you're going to do. So in the VIP group, meet me over there. I know you were in Egypt at the pyramids and stuff, but now you're back and your coach says, get your butt in the VIP group. Let's make it happen. Love you. Bye. <laughs> she said, yes, we do. Yes, we do. That's why you need a coach, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>